As you set out to create content, do you know exactly why you are creating each piece of content? What exactly is the point of that new blog post or YouTube video? Hi, I'm Napoleon Russ, and in this video I'm going to share with you how you can start creating content with a purpose today. But before we get started, please hit the like button and subscribe so that you can get updates whenever I post new tips and tricks that will help you build your business. As online business owners, we must constantly create content to grow our businesses. Unfortunately, many business owners create their content without any direction or content purpose in mind. They might write great content, yet if it's missing a purpose, it's also missing an opportunity. So what do you want your content to accomplish? Why are you actually creating the content? It doesn't matter if it's short like a blog post or an article, and it doesn't matter if it's a large content piece like report or ebook. It needs a purpose. So what are some potential purposes for your content? Your content can drive traffic to a web page, increase SEO ranking, drive traffic to a sales page, generate affiliate income, boost your credibility and authority, request responses or comments, or build your email list. You may find that occasionally your content has multiple purposes. For instance, a report may be designed to collect opt-ins. And in addition to the opt-in, you may also include affiliate links within the body of the report to generate income. Or you may link back to a sales page or your website to promote your products or services. On the other hand, if your content is missing a purpose, then you're missing out on a valuable opportunity. The best time to determine the purpose of your content is when you create a content purpose plan. Different people take different approaches to this. You may plan your content for the coming week, or you may plan it for the entire quarter. But regardless of when you do it, planning your content helps you make the most of your efforts. When you plan your content, you'll likely determine the keywords and the topic. You'll also decide when you're going to publish it and where. It only makes sense to integrate your content into your traffic generation, SEO, sales, and marketing strategies. For example, you may know that in three months you're going to launch a new service. Your content during that month leading up to the launch will ideally support the launch. It'll generate interest and excitement. Content purpose, therefore, will be to drive traffic to your opt-in page. People can sign up ahead of time and receive notification when you launch. They may also receive special pricing. Your content can also generate awareness for the need of your new service. Or it can send traffic to your sales page once you launch. Every piece of content needs to have some sort of call to action. And the purpose of each piece of content should be integrated into your call to action. For example, if you want to motivate comments and feedback at the end of a blog post, you have to ask for it. That's your call to action. So, take a look at the content you have planned for the next week or month. Does each piece have a purpose? Do you have a call to action? Is your content part of your overall business growth strategy? If not, make some quick changes and start reaping the rewards. If you'd like to learn more about how you can get more leads, traffic and sales by posting on purpose, click the link in the description.